so it's so super cute. The Pokemon company was sitting at their desk, looking at an a half-eaten apple and being like, "How do I make this into?" <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jeopardy. I hope you're all excited for a really fun night. We're uh, we're gonna have some fun here. I just said that, but. Let's talk about our uh, wonderful contestants. Mr. Guides, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, what exactly you do on Twitch? Absolutely. I do nothing on Twitch now. I'm just <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm KH Guides, or just Guides for short. Uh, the KH stands for Kingdom Hearts. They're also my initials, but uh, we manage KHGuides.com. Um, trying to build the best Kingdom Hearts guides and walkthroughs on the interwebs there. Uh, in terms of Pokemon knowledge, I would say my strong shoots are... Uh, Kanto and a little bit of Johto, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm done for. Uh, I guess I'm next order. Uh, it's me. My name is My170. I'm a. Uh, I do a lot of retro and Nintendo games on my channel, like playing games. I I started streaming about two years ago, mostly as a way to play games that I grew up with and I wanted people to watch. So. Here I am now, two years later, still doing it, and I'm still playing plenty of games. And, and uh, I'm also a fellow New Yorker, along Long Island. Yeah, Island. Long Island boys! And as for <laughs> my knowledge of Pokemon, I have been playing since Gen 3, although I've basically played every generation, and I'm well-versed in Pokemon. I've done competitive. I've done... I've, I've played all sorts. I've played, like, most of the games. So I'd say... I have a pretty good shot at this. <laughs> it's not my game. Um, hi, I'm Am Amber's fossilized tree sap. I uh, stream a lot of music and art, but I also do. Uh, I also play games. Uh, if you know Zephyrim sixty four, we play a Fallout Fridays together. Um, but also, that's you do a lot of Mario Kart and a lot of other games. Um, so, I've been I've been playing since I was a kid but I also I haven't <clears> played the newer generations only the the really old stuff so. <laughs> so so this is gonna be a lot of fun either way then <laughs> let's go over our categories shall we we have mechanics and gimmicks since generation one Every generation, aside from Generation 5, has added some new kind of mechanic or gimmick to really spice up the gameplay. Outside work, a lot of the iconic characters that we know of in Pokemon don't always do just what we know them for. They sometimes have another job. Uh, evolutions are evolutions, either evolution methods or who Pokemon evolve into. Abilities are abilities that Pokemon can have. And then regional variants are about the regional variants that were introduced in Sun and Moon, uh, Sword and Shield, and Legends Arceus. Guides, why don't you start us off? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pick something real hard. Uh, <laughs> mechanics and gimmicks for 100, please. That okay. Way. I mean, Murph. <laughs> <laughs> this mechanic introduced in Generation 2 seems super obvious to... Oh, dang, we're starting already with Mike. What you got, boy? Ge what is gender? Oh, this man. Gender, correct. Fun fact, Nidoran was the only Pokemon to really have a uh, actual gender in the original games. And also fun fact, with uh, the new Wooper form that was confirmed, did you know that that is the first ground poison type we've had since Generation 1? So All right, so. Now, right? Yep. Yep. All right, I'm going to go with abilities for 300. All right. An ability popularly used by Pokemon like Malamar and Superior, this reverses the effects of stat-changing moves so that a Swords Dance would decrease your attack by two stages, but Leaf Storm would increase your special attack by two stages. Mike? Oh, 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 oh what is contrary? Yes, there we go. Nice. I should also specify uh, that <laughs> I ran this by two of my mods, and uh, I might have made this a little bit more difficult than I thought. <laughs> Okay. But we'll, hey, we'll see I what happens. I appreciate your due diligence. Like, the it's... answers are in Jeopardy format, which is great. <laughs> it's totally All right. fun. So All right, I'm going to really... go with Evolutions for 400. This is probably one of the hardest ones. Probably the weirdest inclusion to the Pokemon franchise. This Pokemon can only be evolved in the game it originated in. Better go find him. I'm going to take a wild guess. What is missing? No. <laughs> That is not correct, unfortunately. Oh, I would have loved it. to say that. <laughs> I know I know it's got I some weird think... gimmicky evolution stuff, but I was just gonna say uh what is Polygon? Porygon? No, it's Porygon. not Porygon. He can't, he can't evolve. No. He like, doesn't evolve in the first random. one. I'm I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna buzz. You don't know none of you guys know? I don't know it. I don't wanna I don't buzz. Alright, so. the answer is 
Who is Meltan? Oh, oh. oh. yeah. Is so, it, does it only evolve in Pokemon Go? Yeah, only in you Pokemon. can only evolve it in oh. Pokemon Go, and it's a 400 candy evolution, so it's a very mm -hmm. time-consuming one to get. Also, yep, you guys you like that? Uh, you guys like that hint I put in? Better go find him. Uh, I'm uh, cheeky uh, like that. That evolution should be illegal. That, that is such a barrier <laughs> right. to get. I'm gonna, go, all right. I'm gonna go with evolutions for 300. All right. Friendship evolutions are probably the most tedious one to do, but this friendship evolution is the toughest one, seeing as this Pokemon, when caught, has the lowest base friendship. Nope. Would you guys like a hint? <laughs> no clue. Would you guys like a hint? A hint I, should, a hint. I feel like I should sure. know this, but... Sure, I'll take a hint, yeah. Generation 4. It's found relatively early game. <sighs> Generation 4. Okay. So that's Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm trying to think of affection based evolution there. I'm not sure if this is the one. Yeah, I'm stumped. I have no yeah. idea. Have everyone uh everyone passing on this one? I'm passing. I think yeah. So, yeah. Alright, the evolu uh the question is, who is Baniri? Oh, I was thinking. Really? Was like, yeah, Baniri has the lowest Wolf base friendship. A friendship it's a friend mm -hmm. Yeah, and Baniri is the only Pokemon to learn the move frustration naturally. All right. Why? Why is Baniri such a jerk? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go look at the abilities for 500. Yeah. All right. The soundproof ability prevents Pokemon from being hurt or impacted by sound-based moves. However, there was another ability that had the exact same effect, but was scrapped for some reason. Mike, what do you- What is cacophony or- Cacophony, cacophony. there you go. Cacophony. Nice <laughs> job. Yeah. What are we gonna do next? Hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with abilities for 400. All right. These two abilities change the user to the exact type of the move they're using. This ability helped make Greninja incredibly overpowered, but Cinderace couldn't quite live up to the expectations. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd know this one. Uh, what are Protean and Libero? Nice. Wow. Way to go. All right, I'm going to go with abilities for 200. Abilities for two. An ability shared by only a few poison types, this ability not only lowers the encounter rate in the overworld by 50%, but it also gives you a 10% chance to flinch your opponent. <laughs> what is stench? There you go. Also, I just realized that your points didn't go up from the other one. Uh, I'm going to go with the abilities for 100. I'll finish that out. All right. Running low on health and supplies, this ability will let you get out of battle without hassle. <laughs> What is run away? There you go. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be speedy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with evolutions for 500. Okay. This is the highest level a Pokémon has ever had to reach until it fully evolves. Ooh, guides. 65? Ooh, I'm so sorry. That's not correct. Oh. Mike, what do you think? 64? What is 64? That's it. It's level 64. For, 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 wait, wait, really? Yes, Violus to Hydreigon. You were so close, sure. guides. For, I mean, I guess sure. if you want to be technical, any Pokemon with a friendship evolution can evolve at 65. Uh, but, yeah, like, in terms... That's, yeah. That's, that's, that doesn't count. No. Yeah. Evolution for 200. All right. If Tyrogue reaches level 20 with its attack and defense being the same amount, it will evolve into this Pokemon. Mike? What is Hitmontop? Nice. I knew that one. Man. <laughs> yeah, guys, I saw you buzzed in. You were close. You could have gotten that I one. I know. I was like, that's oh, my second. I'm running away with this right now. <laughs> but it's not over yet. A, all right. A daily double can change things up. Oh, yeah. I... I, I I, I should specify, I don't know how to put daily doubles in this, so I didn't put any. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then it is over. <laughs> I should. I, I feel like I'm in like an episode of Celebrity Jeopardy from SNL where everyone has like negative seventy thousand dollars. Who loses for one? Let's finish now. All right. This Pokemon is evolved by holding your 3DS upside down. Guides. Oh, cool. Is it the? Are you asking for the starter? Or the, what it evolves into. There's a starter that evolves by holding no, your 3DS no, upside no, down? I mean, like, the, the first, first stage Pokemon. Oh, yeah, yes, into. the first stage Pokemon. Is it, is it called Inky? Or, 
so close. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna close, I'm gonna yeah. give you that I'm one because you're really close. One. I I only right. know that I would have not known that three days ago because I, I was playing Sun and Moon and I was like, how do you involve this thing? And I was like, hold your 3DS upside down. <laughs> Thank you for the pity points. That's very that's very sweet. Of course. Um, I'll go with uh, regional variants for 300. All right. This iconic Pokemon is the only one so far to have multiple regional variants. Guides. What is Meowth? Oh, nice job! Uh, let's do outside work for 200. All right. Okay. Two place. years after believing Team Plasma has been stopped, this rival became the new normal type gym leader for his region, built just behind the trainer school in Aspersia City. Mike? Who is Sharon? Nice. Excellent job. All right. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with mechanics and gimmicks for 200. Bam. The physical special split was a massive addition to the Pokemon franchise as it gave Pokemon like Crawdont ways to utilize their superior attacking stat. And it was introduced in this generation. Oh, guys, so close. But, uh, that was Gen 4. yeah, that's it, Mike. Generation four, nice oh, thank job. God. I was gonna get it wrong. So. <laughs> Thanks for taking that, Mike. <laughs> what were you gonna say, guys? What were you... well, I was gonna say Gen two. <laughs> not, no. <laughs> nope, not All quite. Right, here we go. Good job. High five, Amber. <laughs> go with outside work for a hundred. All right. The Viridian City gym leader has a secret that most people in the Kanto region don't know about, being the iconic leader of Team Rocket. Ooh, guides. Are we just asking who it is? Who is Giovanni? That's it. And Guides is back up to negative 400 points. <laughs> Man, I'm making bank. I only know the bank 400 simoleons. Nice. Maybe, uh, ma maybe Amber do... can get up there at some point. Maybe maybe she can yeah. uh, get some points. But uh, what do you uh, what do you want to pick? Uh, let's do regional variants for four. All right. Okay. This regional variant is actually the original form of the species. The variant of the raccoon we know and love is technically the actual regional variant. Oh, oh Amber! Oh god, I'm gonna say it wrong. Zigzagoon? Wait. That's it! It's Zigzagoon! Yeah. Oh, let's go! Nice! Sure. And Amber's at a nice, comfortable zero points. Yeah. Alright, Amber, what do you want to pick next? I don't know. Um, regional variants, too. Alright. Sun and Moon introduced the popular mechanic of regional variants. However, all of the regional variants in Gen 7 originated from this generation or region. Ooh, guides. What is Kanto? Nice. What is Generation 1 or Kanto? That was always like... Almost back to zero. That's my personal goal. <laughs> <laughs> zero. That was always my biggest issue oh. with the regional variants. I can't show my face on Pokemon Twitch again if I, if I have a negative score. <laughs> Mechanics and gimmicks for... Three. All right. Mega Evolution gave life to a bunch of Pokemon that were relatively lackluster, but it also added to the popularity of many. Three of them were given a dragon typing. Name two of the three. Mike? Mega Charizard X and Y? Mm hmm. Oh, oh that's one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mega Charizard X <laughs> is the dragon. Oh, well, oh right. You're, you are right. Okay. Um, and then. Oh, fuck. There's another one. <laughs> Oh no! Uh oh! Uh, I think, come on, come on. Oh fuck! 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 Um, and for us, and for us. Nice job. Can you tell me the third one? I, uh, um, three. I can't think of it right. Two. Wait, do I have to come up? Do I have? Do I need it or? You don't. But I was, I was gonna see <laughs> I don't know. if no, guides or Amber no. could come up with the third one for extra points. No. Nah. I mean, I don't. Amber, you I think you know? Shouldn't. No. All right. Well, the answer is Charizard, Ampharos, and oh. Sceptile. Oh, Sceptile. All right. Nice. All right. Let's keep All right. going. All right. Mike? Uh, let's go with mechanics to give us for 400. All righty. The Dynamax phenomenon has become increasingly popular in the Gala region, but this one person is not a big fan of them. No clue. Guides? Okay. I'm just going to do a joke answer because it's worth it. Who is Lands of Masters? <laughs> Unfortunately, that is mine. not correct. And now you're down just to negative context. 600 guides. Ooh. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> so the answer is actually the first dark type gym leader we had, Piers, who also was the leader of Team Yell.
I know. All right. Uh, I'm going to finish out mechanics and gimmicks. All right. This is the amount of electric type Z moves the Pikachu line has access to. <laughs> no idea. Amber? Six. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Guys? I well, I, I don't know. <laughs> mm -mm. Guys, what do you think? I'm going to say three. Oh, that's it! Oh, <laughs> they get Catastropica, Gigavolt Havoc, and 10 million volt Thunderbolt. Look at that. Nice gas guides. That was exactly what that was. That was <laughs> uh, let's do outside work for four. All right. After completing the main story, this rival finds their calling and studies to become a Pokemon professor. Maybe we'll see them as one in a future game? I'm thinking about it now. Technically, there's a second answer to this. Which kind of opens the question up a little bit more. I can't think of it. No, no one comes to mind for me. Okay, Amber, any ideas? I feel like I, I should know this. I would literally just say Gary. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Think, I think I know who it is, but I don't want to like. I, I want to keep. I want to keep my point. Wait, what? Wait, what? what are you doing? No, I don't. I have no idea. I'm not gonna. Get All it. right, the answer that that I put down was Hop. The rival oh, from yeah. Sword and Shield. But I would have I thinking, also accepted Bianca. I was going to guess that. Because I believe I Bianca of, helps but... out Professor Juniper in Black 2 and White 2, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. That's why I was thinking Bianca, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to buzz in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's uh, do regional variants for 100. All right. This tropical Pokemon was the very first regional variant ever announced in the mainline Pokemon games. Guides? Galarian Executor? Nice! Oh! Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, give oh, I'll give it. I'll give you that yeah. one. <laughs> but that's actually no another way. Grass Dragon type. F little fun fact. Oh. Yeah, because apparently like that, a tree dude. can be a dragon. Well, I guess dragon fruit comes from dragon trees. I guess. I mean, we also got a... Uh, <laughs> we also got two apple dragons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Applin. <laughs> like, Applin... Uh, and then Flapple and Appleton. So it's so super the cute. The Pokemon company was sitting at their desk looking at an a half eaten apple and being like, how do I make this into six <laughs> Pokemon? Uh, outside work for three. All right. The Masked Royal sure does look familiar. Maybe it's because he's this resident oh, on Mele Mele Island. Oh, guides. Professor Kukui. Nice. That's it. Nice job. <laughs> You still got ways to go to catch up. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. I'm not catching up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say this right now. I'm actually really glad that we saved outside work and regional variants for 500 for last, because these are the <laughs> ones that I'm probably the most proud of. Outside work for five. All right. Not only is she an elite four member for her respective region, she's also a news reporter and was also an admin for her region's evil team. She's got quite the resume. Mike? Who is Malva? Nice job. It's Malva. Malva, okay. I love... Take away the points. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. Honestly, this, yeah. this was the one question that made me want to do this Jeopardy. Because, like, I... That's a fantastic question. Everyone she seems the, to never remember that she was part of Team Flare. And I, I love that. Regional variants are 500. All right. This regional form is in reference to when the life form it's inspired by releases Zoazanthelli, turning it white. Mike? What is Galarian Corsola? Nice! You got it! Nice, Corsola. Right? So, really basically, uh, if you guys don't know, Galarian Corsola is basically based off of bleached coral, which is why oh, it's a cool. ghost type, because it's dead. Well, it's sad, but it's also cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, our contestants, how are we feeling? about this i'm feeling pretty good Gu guides has a whopping <laughs> 300 points Honestly. mike has a whopping 3800 and amber has got negative 500 how are we all feeling so far this has been fun I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, this. I'm, I'm so I'm, proud that i know all this stuff who cares about going on like <laughs> while everyone was out going on dates in high school i was playing pokemon all the time, <laughs> the time. what i'm gonna do real quick is i'm gonna uh, share my screen with you guys again, but this time with the final Jeopardy. Oh, wait, oh, wait, there's no second round? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I completely forgot that there is no second round. <laughs> there's no second round. <laughs>
I well, can... Mike's heart just like skipped two beats. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so let's just DM you directly. you're going to have 30 seconds to think of an answer, and then you're going to DM me your answer and how much you're going to wager. All right? Okay. A million. <laughs> All right, here we go. There are more than 50 gym leaders in the Pokemon franchise, and upon defeat, they give you a technical machine, typically one of the type that they specialize in. This gym leader gives you two different TMs that are the wrong type. All right, well, you guys all managed to get your answers in relatively quickly. All right, guides uh, says, I have no idea. Zero points wagered. <laughs> I gotta keep positive. I gotta keep positive, gotta keep positive <laughs> balance. Mike says, who is Brock for zero dollars? And Amber says, this was fun, this LOL. The answer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad to say that Mike is correct. Who Wait, is what? Brock? It is Brock. So, right too, so here's me. the thing. Here, here, here's the crazy thing, okay? You've in all of the Pokemon Wait. franchise, you fight Brock a total of four times. Wait, hey. you fight him in you fight him in red and blue. Okay. You fight him in gold and silver. You fight him in fire red and leaf green. And then you fight him in Let's Go. He doesn't give you a he doesn't give you a TM in gold and silver, mm -hmm. and he gives you the TM for Rock Tomb in fire red and leaf green. Right, and in, t in the first gen he gives you Bide. And yes. I don't forget what he gives you in. Let he gives you, you Headbutt in oh, Let's Go. What? He gives you, you Headbutt. You ever fight him in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? You do, and he gives you a TM in that game. He gives too, you I Stone think. Edge. Oh, okay, so that one's Rock. Yeah. So the but, thing is, but though, the Bide one is not. The thing is. This was actually not meant to be the question. Like, the, the, this was not meant to be the answer. Um, because I completely forgot that Brock ever existed. Uh, the original uh, answer was going to be Faulkner from Gen 2. Right, because he gives you Gen Mud 4, Slap. It seems was... as though our winner is my 170. Yay! With a whopping 3,800 points. I wish I bet more on that, but I guess I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. And Lauren3456, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. I would have, it's, it's fake money anyway. But so, Mike, as the winner of today's competition, you will be getting five gifted subs from yours truly. And I want to thank our contestants so much for joining us today. This was truly a ton of fun. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be able to do this again sometime uh, for everyone. It was a blast. Yeah, yeah so I, I plan on doing 